Hello and welcome to this edition of Veterinary Secrets in which I'm starting a new section and I'm going to be answering your questions. So now the question. Michael from Courtney asks, My dog is itching a lot and it's the fall, late fall. I'm checking, I don't see any type of fleas at all. He doesn't have allergies, but he just all of a sudden he's never been itchy in the past. But he just they, he really 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 stirred itch. Doctor Jones, do you have any idea what it could be? So in this short video today, we're going to talk about lice and how to tell if your dog has lice. Lice are small little blood sucking parasites. It can be quite difficult to find. And few people, even few veterinarians, have seldom seen a live louse. But what you are finding are the things called their eggs, which are known as nits. And they, they're leaving these eggs on the hair, the hair, hair themselves. And so what you're going to find is looking at your dog's fur, you're going to see little white pieces attached to the end of the fur. This is what the eggs or the nits look like. And this picture here is of a person, which much the same thing that you're going to be seeing on your dog. So the nits are those white little eggs. You can see two of them pointed out there. And the difference between them and dandruff is they're quite firmly attached to your dog's fur. So if you were to see them, you see these little white little specks attached to your dog's hair. If you try to pull them off with your finger, they won't come off. As opposed to dandruff, which is very loosely attached, and it'll just flake right off. This here is a picture of the actual live lice on a dog's fur. And there you can see the adults there. This is a close-up. Something you're not seldom going to see. For hopefully, you're going to be getting to your dog much before it gets to the point where you're going to see, you know, hundreds of live lice on your dog. And here's what I would do if I'm going to comb Lewis and check for lice. And it wasn't uncommon in practice. I would cl have clients coming in saying their dog's really, really itchy. They can't explain why. Sudden onset. Often they've been at the dog park. Uh, maybe they've been with other friends, regardless they've been in contact with other dogs. A couple things to remember is one, lice are species specific, so you're not you're not going to get the lice, your kids won't get the lice, your cats won't get the lice, goes from dog to dog. So the entire life cycle is going to be on your dog. So you have these little adult lice, they'll lay their eggs, which are called nits, they're on your dog's fur, and then eventually if it's the right environment in the right conditions are going to hatch again keep that life cycle going. This is a picture of the life cycle here of lice and what it's showing is it takes about two and a half to three weeks before it can progress from egg to mature enough adults to reproduce and start laying eggs again. So because of that we're looking at treating your dog with some type of anti-lice medication every two weeks so we can kill those adults and prevent them from maturing to the point where they can continue to lay eggs again and then we can ultimately then break that life cycle and ultimately get rid of lice on your dog. Uh, so for instance in Lewis here, if he was to have lice we would be seeing little fine sort of white eggs at the end of one of these hair, some of these, his fur. And that's how you can tell if your dog has lice. Thank you for watching this edition of NRA Secrets. What I want you to do now is first click that link in the box above, you can subscribe to my channel. Then you can click that link in the box below and I can send you my free books and videos on how to heal your dogs at home with my top natural remedies.